In this video, I'm joined by Buck designer and animator Bern Bussard, and he's going to show us how he made the main structure of this animation with just a few shape layers. Bern, so you're going to show us how you did this sort of looping spiral animation only using a couple of shape layers and the repeater property. I want to find out how you did this. It all started with just a simple wave shape, something I made in Illustrator and then copied into After Effects just to have my, my base shape in there. From there, I just changed the, the stroke width, changed the color, but also uh, add a repeater. My thinking was it would be cool if I have like this wave shape and then it repeats again like upwards to have like this continuous wave. But the thing was with a repeater, it, I mean, it does its job, but it actually, it actually literally repeats it. There's not a seamless loop, there's a big break in there. So yeah. we need to fix that. How does that happen? Inside of the repeater, you can also like jump into scale. Instead of like scaling the whole thing with every repetition, I just unlink this one. And I just said, okay, with every repetition, you just flip yourself. Just So that flips it horizontally every time it repeats and then flips itself back. Exactly. With every repetition, it just flips itself back again. It ends up with being this like, continuous wave of how many copies you have. Then a next step is just adding variation. So I had this path which I animated over time and then I added in a bit of a stroke width to have the illusion of appearing closer to the camera but also like further away from the camera. And because I was moving this wave, I didn't want to move position. So I ended up moving the or animating the offset. So my comp was not all the way on the left or on the right. It just stayed in in its place and it was a bit more easy to work with. That's really clever. So you're just animating the offset of the repeater there? Yeah. So you're not touching the position at all? No, not at all. Oh, that's really clever. Keeps the project nice and neat. And then these variations, you're just using the path and stroke width as well. Exactly. So that means, because the looping's done with the repeater, anything you change those properties, it automatically loops. That looping system's already set up with the repeater. Yeah. So clever. And here you're adding a lot of shadow and form. So how are you doing that? I'm, honestly, it's very simple. Like, because I have this like base shape, I just duplicated it. Like it's both shape layers. And because it's both shape layers, I could just use a set mouth effect. When I have like this like swoosh coming over, I could just use a set mouth to say, hey, can you just be visible on this main shape? So if I take this off, it just like... Awesome, so we can see, yeah, it's only masked. It's, it's only, only masked like within this shape. Very useful. Like, whenever I change this one, like maybe the offset is a bit different or maybe the path changes, it all changes within this as well, which um, sp sped up my workflow a bit more as in like I could try a bit more things. Yeah, that's really clever. And you've also just changed the fill effect as well to be just a slightly darker red. Is that right? Yeah. So the fill is just like a slightly darker red, which is um, inverted to have just being on the outside rather than being all over the shape. Mate, this is such a clever solution to this issue. I would have thought this would have taken absolutely ages to make and this is the whole base for the whole project so from here do you, you added grain and texture just on top of these elements i use like a setup very close to the one you gave a tutorial that's excellent i'll put a link to my grain and texture tutorial so you can see how those were applied as well perfect thank you Bern. this was eye-opening oh thanks for inviting me um it, it was a pleasure just to show everything no thank you for being on the show and please everyone show your support to Bern. go and follow him he is amazing i made a short playlist of some related videos that i think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far i'll see you in the next video and please consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week mm -hmm.